Hey Credit Warriors, Credit Shifu here. Well, American Express has revealed the new design for the updated green card, okay? Um, so just a little recap, last week Amex took the green card off of their website. Uh, there has been speculation that they're gonna be re-releasing the green card this year. Looks like they are. People speculate they'll be offering 4X back on gas purchases, 3X back on streaming, Amazon Prime membership, and some sort of um, partnership with Away Luggage. That's just speculation, not based on facts, but that's what people are hoping for and you know expecting maybe will be the case. Um, they are releasing details about the card gradually. So yesterday they released a press release which had you know several things in it. Uh, first of all was a new video um, that shows us the new design. So you can see this is the old design here. It's got the white border and then it changes to the new design. The white border is gone and the card numbers are now on the back, okay? What do I think of this new design? I think it's great. Um, you know, the gold card doesn't have a white border and then gold on the inside. So why does the green card have a white border? Kind of looks a bit weird. So I much prefer it just being green. Um, other than that, it's pretty much the same design. Only other difference is that the card numbers are on the back, which I think is um, a good thing as well, because if you're holding your card, people can't see your card numbers. It also makes it easier for me to do unboxing videos because I just have to cover up the tiny security code and I don't need to you know, put some tape across the front of the card, uh, which makes it look ugly to cover up the card numbers. So thank you very much American Express for that. I'm sure they did it you know, to make it easier for vloggers who wanna make unboxing videos and put them on YouTube. Um, anyway, so great design. Uh, now let's go for the second part of this. So a few days ago, someone sent me a message on Instagram um, where they were, you know, it was a screenshot of them talking with an Amex rep on the chat on Amex's website and asking when the new green card would be released. And this person replied, this representative who was called, I think, Destiny, replied, um, you know, excellent question, referring to when's it gonna be released, uh, and then saying basically something called the Parlay green card will be released later this year, but they don't have any exact details. And I was like, what? The Parlay green card, what is that, okay? Now, uh, we were a little bit confused about it two days ago, but basically yesterday morning when American Express released this press release, Actually, they may have had information about this on their website even earlier than that, this partnership, but they're partnering with an organization called Parlay for the Oceans. Okay, so that's where the Parlay green card name, uh, you know, kind of came about. And what this is, this is an organization um, that, you know, they, they want to save the ocean through collecting, you know, plastic that is in the ocean, polluting, killing birds, etc. All right. Um, I'll show you some images on the website or well, in a video that Parlay made. Basically, you can see these birds that have eaten a load of plastic that's washed up uh, on their beaches where they live and stuff on little islands in the Pacific and look it's really horrible I mean you can see bottle caps you can see a lighter inside a bird I mean and then they die because they've eaten all this plastic and you know maybe they can't digest their food or it's just clogging up their stomach and not very comfortable to walk around with a stomach full of plastic so it really is very very sad um, and what this Parley organization does is they have this um, air policy which stands for avoid, intercept, and redesign. You know, so they're all about avoiding the use of plastics, intercepting plastic that is in the ocean and cleaning it up, cleaning it up and, and redesigning things. And you know, that's where Amex is coming in. So Amex is implementing their air policy. Uh, they made uh, basically a statement they're gonna be doing three things. They're gonna be making the card out of recycled materials. They have a global call to action and they're starting an American Express recycling program. And I'll read you out basically some details from the press release on all three of those things. So for making the card with recycled materials, Amex says later this year, American Express will introduce the redesigned consumer and corporate green cards, which will be made primarily with reclaimed plastic collected from beaches, islands, and coastal communities by Parlay for the Oceans, an organization focused on combating marine plastic pollution. So very, very good. The card will be made primarily of uh, re recycled plastic. We have known that Amex had a partnership uh, to do this uh, for a while, I think since earlier this year or even last year, but now basically it's solidified and they're telling you exactly how they're gonna do it. Green card will be made of recycled plastic. Next point. So this was the global call to action. Basically, Amex says to raise awareness of, for the issue of marine plastic pollution, American Express and Parley are kicking off a global call to action and rallying card members, merchants, partners, and colleagues to join them. Today through September 23rd, consumers can go to the American Express or Parley.tv Instagram handles uh, and explain why uh, they back our oceans or tag friends they want to get involved. For each comment, American Express will partner with Parley to remove two pounds of plastic from beaches and coasts up to one million pounds. 
So basically, if you care about the oceans, you care about birds eating lighters and choking on bottle caps, which is a great thing to care about, go to either American Express or Parlay.tv's Instagram handles, leave a comment on their, you know, on their photos. And for every comment, they're, you know, cleaning up two pounds of plastic from beaches. So if you leave a load of comments, you could get loads of, you know, dozens of pounds of plastic cleaned up. So uh, if you want to do something, take part. And lastly, for American Express's recycling program, they say this, American Express is introducing the company's first card recycling program, rolling out in 2020 for the US consumer, small business and corporate cards. The program will enable card members to send back their expired or non-working cards to American Express, who will ensure that they are properly recycled. Now that's really, really good. You could, of course, recycle your own card, but some people may not feel comfortable with putting a card that has their name and card numbers on it in a recycling bin. Um, I mean, you could shred it, of course, if you shred it and then put them in different trash cans or whatever, but um, you know, it might be a little bit of a hassle. So now American Express is gonna have a proper recycling program where you can send your card back and um, they will ensure that it's properly recycled. And I'm sure that recycling program will ensure confidentiality as well. So your name, card numbers or whatever will not, um, you know, will not get into the public, okay, will be secure. Uh, so that's basically it for what Amex has said. Now, in the both the text conversation that someone sent me with an Amex rep and also in the press release, they say that the new card is coming out later this year. So we got about, what is it, halfway through September, November, December. So we've got three and a half months left of the year. So you don't have that long to wait. Uh, the gold card was released last October, October 4th. So, you know, seeing as they they seem to be ramping up for a release, maybe they're gonna do it in October. That's my guess. Uh, but it obviously could be any time uh, throughout the rest of the year. So you don't have long to wait and we will update you with that uh, as we get details of it. Um, I want to just let everyone know that our wallet store is now restocked. We are introducing the Credit Shift wallets with the new logo, okay? So here are our Traveler wallets with the, uh, the new Credit Shift logo. They're available in dark brown, uh, light brown, and black. We also have the Minimalist wallets, again, dark brown, light brown, and black. All those are made of leather. And then we also have the new RFID blocking models, which are available in uh, blue, green, and black. And these actually aren't made of leather, they're a man-made material, imitation leather. So if you're someone who doesn't like to buy animal products like leather, uh, you could go for one of those instead. And they are RFID blocking. Every compartment on them is RFID blocking except for the ID slot, which is on the back, which can serve as a place for your ID. Or you can put your, uh, you know, if you have one of those subway cards that has to beep or, you know, a card you're using with the wireless, you can put that in that slot and then keep that facing your body when you put it in your pocket uh, and it should be okay. Um, so guys, they are on sale now in the store. It's uh, www.thecreditshifter.com forward slash shop or you can click the link in the description below. Uh, I'll also put a link to some of the best credit cards out there on the market at the moment. If you want to check them out, learn more about them, feel free to click that link below as well. As always, please subscribe if you're new for more credit card tips and tricks almost every day and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.